it's Billy, the Naughty Professor, here to show you another knot that is of my own creation. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but a couple folks that have seen it think that it is very cool, so I'm going to share it with you anyway. It kind of looks like a, a bloom on a rose or some sort of flower, but since bloom knot, rosebud, rose knot, all taken, you guys get to help me with the name for this. So, uh, tell me what you think after we're done. And uh, I'm going to take this down and we'll see what you think about it. And I'll be right back. Alright, so the knot is down. Collars popped. And the tip of the blade is right about at my belly button. So this is definitely a tie that you will want to wear a vest or a jacket with because it's a hungry knot and it can end up, can end up a little short unless you're a little guy like me. So first let's, as usual, start off with our dimple. Bring it over to the center. Cross the tail end over the blade end up through the middle. Now here as the tail is hanging down the front, I want you to put like a 90 degree fold in it and then bring it right around the back so that you can see the little crease in it. Now as you're going up, I want you to do that again. When you're After you go around the back and bring it up, put another fold in it before you tuck it through the back. See what we're doing here to kind of creating these little folds that might look like rose petals. Now as you're coming across the front, put your finger to the side you're coming from and go up again with that fold. That way when you bring it around the back and up through the center, you've got another petal. Now after you go around the back and you're coming over the front, we're going to do it again. Maybe not a 90 degree, but whatever your taste is. I mean, this is a knot that you can work with on your own. But as you bring it around the back, see, we've got another what appears, what could be misconstrued as a flower petal. As you're going up, put another one in it. And then as you come around the front, do it one last time and tuck that puppy away. Cinch it up. Bring that around over here so it's nice and tight. The cool thing is most, uh, most shirt collars are kind of narrow these days. So when you flip that down, Anything left over is hidden. If you have a longer tie, feel free to tuck it up in under the tie under your collar. Personally, I don't see what all the hubbub is about the knot, but it is kind of cool, you have to admit. So, uh, help me out with the name and tell me what you think. If you got to be naughty, use a tie. K-N-O-T-T-Y. Remember me, Naughty Professor. Uh, follow me here on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, it's Billy2565 on Twitter. On Instagram, it's The Real Naughty Professor. Look for me. There's a link to my personal Facebook as well on my channel homepage on YouTube. And tell me what you think of this knot. Help me with a name. And until next time, have a very blessed day. Bye-bye.